Welcome guys, this is lesson number 3 on AES, the add round key. So for this tutorial we'll be treating each of those models, each of those process, the add round key as boss, sub byte, round key generator, key expansion, shift rule, mix column, round generator and finally the simulation. So we are going to treat them as independent topics for this tutorial so that we'll be able to understand more how this works so you can find the velo code for the add rank key on my website projectfpga.com slash aes select the add rank key so you'll be able to see what and what is involved in this uh, add rank key so in logic sim i'll be demonstrating how the add rank key works so this is what the circuit looks like, the add round key. So what does it do essentially? Remember I told you in the first tutorial that the AS is a 128-bit operation, but for Logisim, the maximum bit is 32 bit. So that is essentially why you are going to be seeing a lot of 1, 2, 3, 4 for each input and output. Like here, you're going to see data in one two three four and key one two three four data out one two three four so it, it basically means data in data out one key and each is 128 bits so i literally split them into four of 32 bits that is what logic demands but on the website the actual velo code talks about the 128 bit and the plus about the 128 bit value which is using so next let's see how this works so remember we talked about this operation so what the add rank key does is basically to do a a zo operation on the plain text which is the data in and then the and then the round key you're going to see how this round key is likewise generated so for the for the sake of this circuit which i have done you have your round key you have the data in so what the multiplexer does is once you input your data in and the round key and then you are going to say you are going to set this input i by yourself I'm going to say that the data you placed in is valid you turn this on and then you say that the round key you set in is valid so once you set this on the two are going to be blended together using this uh, operation and you are going to get the first set of scrambled data and once this scrambled data is being set the next what follows next is this valid out so on the next crop cycle all this is going to be generated and fed into the next sub circuit so i'm going to do a little demonstration let's see how this works so assuming let me scramble this a little pick varying data within it so you can watch that the data out is still plain it has nothing within it so let's watch let's keep watching and see what is going to happen so i'm trying to get to scramble the data and get uh, multiple values a varying or maybe a randomized values here so let's watch carefully and see what is going to happen when i do this let's watch so i think uh, i'm good to go so then you can see that the data out is still plain nothing happens so i'm then going to turn on that first the data valid so this indicates that the data i placed in are valid that is is okay is good to go then next i'm going to turn on the key valid and now watch this data out and see how it changes 
and also watch how the valid out turns on to indicate that the output data is valid so watch so as you can see the zoo operation has been operated and this is a different value you can see that the this data out here is quite very diff different from the inputs which I've actually inserted initially that is not excluding the the ZOR, the round keys you can watch the inputs have been are now eventually very different from the output so this is how this add run key operation works we are going to use it as a substitute to other circuits then on the website you are going to see the Vero code for this so this is the Vero code for the add round key so thank you for watching